Hi guys, a quick demo today on how to play with the graphs and colors in the Yordino system. So first thing to note is that we have the Y1 axis over here and the Y2 axis over here. And you can set the colors by clicking on the labels here. So click on the blue one and say I want this to be say this color here and uh, then it changes obviously. Pretty simple. You can also turn on uh, more graphs than one, obviously, with clicking the visible link here. Uh, okay, you can zoom in and out uh, by just uh, your mouse, uh, or you can drag uh, just a rectangle like that, and then it, it, uh, you, you zoom into the rectangle. If you hold the shift uh, key, you can uh, Move it back and forth, and if you hold the control key, you can cut. So let's say you want to get rid of this stuff here. You just hold the control key, make a rectangle, and then off it goes. Uh, something a bit useful sometimes is, uh, let's say you have some spike or whatever going on here. You want to get rid of it. That's possible. You just hold the control key, and you drag it over here, and it just straightens the lines uh, over there, like that. Okay, pretty cool. Um, there is one more thing to note. Uh, you can m move the graphs around if you want. So here we have en engine torque here and engine power here. If you want to have them in the same y-axis, you can do that. You just move it over like this. You drag it with your uh, with your mouse. Hold and let go when you go to the place you, you want it to, to land. Of course, then uh, both engine torque and power will use the Y1 color, right? So you need to then take care of which one is which here. So I do actually prefer to have them on, on different uh, uh, different Y axis like this. One thing to note, if you have the different Y axis like we have now, you may want to use this option, synchronize Y1 and Y2 axis. This is turned on now. You see the axis on uh, the range on the, on both axes are the same. If you have uh, set scale to default, it will zoom in on each uh, graph, and you see it looks like that. Then, so the the range here is is different from the range here. So that's that's good to know. Like this. Okay, then you can press the V button, and you get uh, all the different graphs that you have available. There's a lot of stuff here. We can turn on, for example, break one and break two, and you see it popped up in a different uh, window. That's typically what you would want, but you can, if you want, drag it, just drag it over. Again, you just uh, hold the mouse button and you drag it over, for example, here. Like that, that uh, can be good sometimes to have it in the same as well. You can have, for example, let's say lambda here and the torque and power here or whatever. Okay, so this is uh, what I wanted to show you. Uh, the system saves the setup, so where you place the graphs, uh, you get saved. So next time you open your dyno, it's in the same place as before. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you.